Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial on insertion sort from rethus.com. In the previous video, we looked at bubble sort. In this video, let's look at insertion sort and see how it works. So, uh, let's first understand what uh, the insertion sort does. So, basically, what the insertion sort does is after each pass, then those many elements are in the right order. So, what happens is uh, the first loop of an insertion sort, after the first pass of an insertion sort, the first two elements would be in the right order. So what happens is 76 and 5 are in, not in the right order. So what happens now, let's try sorting it. So 72, 6 and 5 are compared and swapped. So now 5 and 76, so the array of the length so even though we, the uh, length of the entire array is 6, I mean here I have 6 elements in the array, so the length of this array is 6. At the end of first pass, you would see that the first two elements are in the right, I mean are sorted. So 5 and 76 are sorted. So the first two elements are sorted. You would see now uh, that uh, the in the next pass, uh, the 49 would come into the right position and 5, 49 and 76 would be in the right position. So the first three elements would be sorted. At the end of next pass, you would see that the first four elements are properly sorted. And at the end of next pass, you would see that the, the five elements are sorted. And then it would be six elements. So the way insertion sort works is in each pass, you pick up one element. In this particular, in the next pass, we would pick up 49 and find the right place for 49 in the already sorted array. So what happens is 5 and 76 are sorted. So what we do is we find the right place for 49. So 49 is compared with 76. Uh, 49 is smaller than 76, so it's swapped. And then 49 is compared with 5, and 49 is greater than 5, so that's the right position for 49. And then 77 would be fit into the right position. And then 86 would be fit into the right position in the error. And then 42 would be fitted into the right position. Let's continue and see, visualize, see uh, how it works. So 5 and 76 are in the right position. Now the element under consideration is 49. So 49 is compared with 76. 49 is less than 76, so they are swapped. Now 49 is compared with 5. They are in the right order, so no swap happens. So the next element we shift to would be 77, which is the fourth element in the array. So 77 is compared with 76, and they are in the right order. So now the first four elements of the array are sorted. Next, we would compare 77 with 86, and uh, 86 is larger than 77, so 86 is in the right position, so no sort, no swapping is required. And next, we would compare 86 with 42. In this pass, you would see that 42 would come into the right position in the array, which is between 5 and 49. So how it works is 42 is compared with 86, and 42 is smaller, swap. Next, 42 is compared with 77, swap. 42 is compared with 76, swap. 42 is compared with 49, again a swap. And 42 with 5, no swap is needed. So you'd see that at the end of each pass, that many elements in the array are sorted. At the end of first pass, two elements were sorted. Then we pick the third element and put it in the right place in the sorted array. So at each pass, we increase the length of the sorted array. So when we went through the first pass, we saw that the sorted array length was 2, and then it was 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6. So basically, the way it works is we put the, we insert the last element into the right position in the array. And that's why it's called an insertion sort. Uh, insertion sort uh, has a uh, worst case complexity of n square i think the only algorithm which is worse than that uh, is uh, bubble sort which is uh, uh, even worse than the insertion sort in the worst case scenario uh, so that's basically what insertion sort is
so uh, uh, there are a lot of other tutorials on our channel on sorting java etc so take a look until next time bye if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye